Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Rive Free Reading Room Tales for Tots program. My name is Granny Jean, and I hope you'll all have a good time today. Mommies and daddies and caregivers will stay with us and support us and join us um, in giving your children encouragement to participate, uh, most important for their language development. So here we go. And by all means, drown me out. Good grief. Uh, I see a sun trying to peek out there behind that tree. What do you think? Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind that tree. These little children are asking to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, Please shine down on, please shine down on, please shine down on me. Come on, everybody, let's sing. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind that tree. We, <clears throat> these little children are asking to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on, please shine down on, please shine down on me. Good job. <clears throat> well, I see a wheelbarrow, I see a watering can um, somewhere uh, in the United States here. I know that there are very busy farmers planting their, their crops so that we'll have something to eat, right? Sure, that's where it comes from, the farms, the, all the food that we eat. So here we go. <clears throat> Here's a song about things that are growing. And you eat oats for oatmeal or, or, or cheery oats in the morning, right? You eat your peas at night, right? Eat your beans, I hope so. So here we go. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Do you or I or anyone know how oats, peas, beans, and barley grow? First, the farmer plants the seed, stands erect and takes his ease, stamps his foot and claps his hands and turns around to view the land. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Do you or I? Or anyone know how oats, peas, beans, and barley grow? Next, the farmer waters the seeds. This is not, not with a watering can. He uses, has a big machine that does it. <clears throat> Stands erect and takes his ease. Stamps his foot and claps his hands and turns around to view the land. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Do you or I or anyone know? how oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Now he's gotta make sure that those weeds are out of there, right? Those weeds are eating up all the, the good stuff that the crops need. So here we go. Oh, this is the way the farmer hoes the weeds, right? Then the farmer hoes the weeds, stands erect and takes his ease, stamps his foot and claps his hands and turns around to view the land. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Do you or I or anyone know how oats, peas, beans, and barley grow? Then he's going to go with probably a big machine and harvest. That means um, take, take his crops and, that are all ripe now and ready to go to the market. Next, the farmer harvests the seeds, stands erect, and takes his ease, stamps his foot and claps his hands and turns around to view the land. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Do you or I or anyone know how oats, peas, beans, and barley grow? Oh my goodness, that's so much fun. And it's fun to show, see how gardens grow. I hope that you're able to plant a few seeds and watch them grow. Wizzy Wizard has something for us today. <clears throat> it's a, um, a reminder to the parents, a tip for the week. And what is the tip today? Well, today, um, it's important to know, uh, talk, uh, talk to your children when you're writing a card to someone and um, <clears throat> uh, have your child uh, uh, sign his name too, along with yours. 
and uh, it doesn't matter if it's not legible. Uh, <clears throat> they are getting the idea that what they are writing is important. And that is something very, very special about learning to write. <clears throat> <clears throat> Well, my first book today is called Red Car, Green Car, and it is by Mara Vandermeer. Now that is a red car, right? It's not green. I wonder where the green car is. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> a lot of interesting things are red. A noisy fire truck, apples ripe and sweet. Ah, a very clever fox and a talking parakeet. And a fun little car. Set up with red, pull the tab. Green is an awesome color. Turn the page to see. Yeah. A lot of awesome things are green, a very long crocodile, a yellow yummy peas, an elf on a bicycle, lush tall trees, and a fun little car. If green is not your scene, pull the tab. Woo, yellow is fun, the color of the sun. Turn the page to see. A curved banana. <laughs> lots of things are, <laughs> lots of things are yellow. A curved banana, a digger big and loud, a wedge of holy cheese and a lion happy and proud. And a fun little car. Want a color more mellow than yellow? Pull the tab. Blue is cool like the swimming pool. Turn the page to see. Yeah, there they are. A lot of cool things are blue. A huge blue whale. The rivers, seas, and skies. A new pair of jeans. Fluttering butterflies. And a fun little car. So what's it to be? Blue, yellow, green, or red? Or would you prefer a colorful car instead? Turn the page, look at that car. Look at that, it looks like Elmer. Remember Elmer, the elephant that's all patched. Look at all those colors. I see purple and brown. You didn't see them in the book, did you? I didn't, no. Uh, red car, green car, yellow or blue. I can't decide which one I like, can you? Ah, they are all nice. Yes, they are. <clears throat> Red car, green car. <clears throat> and that's by Van de Meer. It is springtime. It is springtime. Winter's gone. Winter's gone. Summertime is coming. Summertime is coming. It won't be long. It won't be long. Yeah, that's the time of year. Some of the trees are have, have beautiful pink flowers on them now, or white, right? Some of them will be deep purple pretty soon, right? Yep. Magnolias will be coming out. In fact, I think a lot of them are out already. <clears throat> oh, it's springtime, right? It is springtime, it is springtime. Winter's gone, winter's gone. Summertime is coming, summertime is coming. It won't be long, it won't be long. No, not, not, not too long from now. <clears throat> oh my goodness me, do you have a cat? I have a cat. Here's a what we call a calico cat. She's a house cat. Here's another house cat, a little black kitten with white paws and a white nose. Those are house cats, right? But not all cats are house cats. Some are pretty big. 
So I have a book here by Eric Carl. Have you seen my cat? It's by Eric Carl. Let's see what kind of cats he has in here. Ah, ah, this is what I'm talking about. That's a cat. We call it a lion. <clears throat> and this is a big wild cat. And it's called a bobcat. It's rather small, but it's a lot bigger than our cat that we have at our house. <clears throat> ah, that's a panther. He doesn't live around here. And neither does the tiger, or the cheetah, or oh, the mountains of the puma. The mountain lion or mountain and cougar are very similar. If they're not the same, I'm not sure. And this is a jaguar. It looks a little like a leopard, doesn't it? But his spots are a little bit different. And this is a house cat, but it's way over in Persia. A Persian cat, very fluffy. And some people here have Persian cats. Very, di very different. Have you seen my cat? Here's a little boy. He's asking someone, have you seen my cat? And the man is what, pointing that way? Let's see what. Ah, oh, that is not my cat. Now, do you remember what that was? A lion, right? <clears throat> and he doesn't even belong in the jungles or, or the savanna there and, and not in the, in, in the zoo, right? Ah, oh, have you seen my cat? He asks a cowboy. Well, the cowboy has seen something over there on the west. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> A bobcat. Oh, he's he's out there in the in the hills. Now he's asking someone down in the southwest who's riding a donkey. Have you seen my cat? And the man is pointing that way. Ah, oh, that is not my cat. Do you remember what I said that was? Well, I said that it could be some other cats, but the, the book says it's a puma. <laughs> yeah, puma. But it looks a little like a cougar or a mountain lion. I think they're all about the same. Now down here, I see a, um, I see a boy asking a, a, a man who, who's where the parrots are. So he must be in South America. Have you seen my cat? Ah, a jaguar. It's up in a tree, that's not my cat. I think I'll go over to Africa. Have you seen my cat? And these lovely ladies are pointing this way. A panther? No, that's not my cat. So I'll travel on to the desert to ask a nomad. And what did the nomad say? This away. No, that's not my cat. <coughs> that's a cheetah. So I'll travel on to Asia. Ah. My goodness me, have you seen my cat? And this man with a water buffalo is pointing this way. To a, to a tiger? No, that's not my cat. So I will go to the Mideast here, up near um, Iran and what have you. And there's a king and a queen. Have you seen my cat? Well, it's really Persia, I suppose. Ah. No, that's not my cat. Oh, where is my cat? Oh my goodness, I've lost my cat. I'll ask these people. Have you seen my cat? I think I saw her over there. Ah, that is my cat. Look at her babies, they're all different. Some are striped like the tiger. Some have a little spot. Some look like the panther or the, or the Persian cat. No? What do you think? <laughs> a little bit like the puma? Very, very funny. Very fun book. And all those cats, <clears throat> big cats, right? They are big cats. <clears throat> but they're not house cats, are they? No. <clears throat> well, if you're wearing red, stand up. If you're wearing red, stand up. If you're wearing red, won't you please stand up and take a bow? Or you could wave. Let's wave instead because taking a bow is kind of hard to do on, on video here. 
So if you're wearing green, stand up. If you're wearing green, stand up. If you're wearing green, won't you please stand up and give a wave? Let's see. If you're wearing yellow, stand up. If you're wearing yellow, stand up. If you're wearing yellow, won't you please stand up and take a no, wave, right. <clears throat> How about that? If you're wearing blue, stand up. If you're wearing blue, stand up. If you're wearing blue, won't you please stand up and take a bow, wave. If you're wearing all different colors, stand up. If you're wearing all different colors, stand up. If you're wearing different colors, won't you please stand up and give a wave? Yeah, right, pink and purple and all kinds of colors. <clears throat> well, yesterday, pretty rainy, tomorrow's gonna be rainy uh, when I'm filming this, but this is, this is a week ago, so we don't know what's gonna happen next week when you're watching this, but. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Little Johnny wants to play. Rain, rain, go to Spain. Never show your face again. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Little Emma wants to play. Rain, rain, go to Spain. Never show your face again. Isn't that silly? We need the rain for our crops, don't we? For our food, right? our flowers. Hmm. Oh. oh my goodness. Let's see here. I see a man walking in the rain, don't you? You see him, huh? Dr. Foster went to Gloucester in a shower of rain. Let's see if you can quite see. There he is. There he is. He fell into a puddle right up to his middle. Where's your middle? And never went back there again. Poor man. Poor man. Doctors don't do that anymore, do they? But when I was a little girl, doctors came to our house. And it was during a war where not too many doctors had cars. Most of them did, though, when I lived. <laughs> Dr. Foster went to Gloucester in a shower of rain. He fell into a puddle right up to his middle and never went back there again. Well, I hope they had another doctor there. <laughs> OK, let's see what we've got here. Uh. I have a cookie jar, right? I have a cookie jar. And let's see. Who took the cookie from the cookie jar? By David Carter. Who, me? Who took the cookie from the cookie jar? Mousy took the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, you. Couldn't be. Then who? Hmm? You see the little mouse there? I do. Who took the cookie from the cookie jar? Jenny took the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, you. Couldn't be. Then who? Come on, kitty. There she is. Who took the cookie from the cookie jar? Peppy took the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, you. Couldn't be. No. No. 
Who took the cookie from the cookie jar? Blackbird took the cookie from the cookie jar. There he is up in the tree. Who, me? Yes, you. Couldn't be. And who? Who took the cookie from the cookie jar? Raccoon took the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, you. Couldn't be. And who? Who took the cookie from the cookie jar? <gasps> Owl took the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, you. Couldn't be. And who? Oh. He took the cookie from the cookie jar. Yum. Look at that, all different cookies. But look, they were different cookie jars, weren't they? Oh, you see the different cookie jars? Can you remember? It's fun to go back and, and see <clears throat> what cookies came from what jar and who took them, right? See if you can remember. We can do that another time. <clears throat> well, let's see. Let's see, let's go to see, out to see. Should we go out to see? I think we we'll go out to see. What is out to see? It's out in the ocean, right? Out in the ocean. There is the ocean. Big and wide and beautiful. Sometimes a little dangerous. But here's a big sailing ship that does pretty well out there in the ocean. I saw a ship a sailing, a sailing on the sea. Can you pretend you're on this boat and it's rocking back and forth as the waves hit it? I okay. I saw a ship a sailing, a sailing on the sea, and oh, it was so laden with yummy things for thee. There was candy in the cabin and apples in the hold. The sails were made of silk and the mast was made of gold. The four and twenty sailors that stood between the deck were four and twenty white mice with chains about their necks. The captain was a duck with a packet on its back. And when the ship began to move, the captain said, quack, quack. <laughs> Come on, help me with that one. I saw a ship a sailing, a sailing on the sea. And oh, it was so laden with yummy things for thee. There was candy in the cabin and apples in the hole. The sails were made of silk and the mast was made of gold. The four and twenty sailors with, <clears throat> that stood between the deck were four and twenty white mice with chains about their necks. The captain was a duck with a packet on its back. And when the ship began to move, the captain said, quack, quack. How silly, huh? That's silly. Well, now, what were some of the things that that um, farmer um, had, huh? What did he have? He had oats and beans and peas, right? Well, here's a pea pod. So pretend you have a pea pod and inside there are little peas growing. Yep. Here's the pea pod, but where are the peas? Hidden away where nobody sees. Watch and you'll see them come out of a hive. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you know what that was? That was the bee song. Oh my goodness me. Five little peas in a pea pot press. One grew, two grew, and so did all the rest. They grew and grew and did not stop until one day that pod went pop. Oh my goodness, Granny Jean, shame on you. Here we go. Now remember, if you can pop, I'll see, can you pop like that? See if the peas in here, oh my goodness. Let's, 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 let's erase that. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Five little peas in a pea pod press. One grew, two grew and all, so did all the rest. They grew and grew and did not stop until one day that pod went, what, pop, right? So 
Let's see if you can make them pop and I'll see if I can pop this and see if there are really five peas in here. Five little peas in a pea pot press. One grew, two grew, and so did all the rest. It grew and grew and did not stop until one day that pod went pop. Now, you're gonna help me count. Great game for kids, getting a handful of fresh peas and um, opening them up and see how many peas are in there. Well, let's see if they're really five. One, two, three, four, five. Right, three and two are five, right? Two and three are five. One and four are five. Five, right? Sure, there are five peas in that. Well, where are those baby robins? Oh my goodness me. <clears throat> Three baby robins, hungry as can be, waiting for their dinner. Where can Papa be? Mama flew off to find another bug. Three baby robins in their nest so snug. Oh, here comes Papa with a worm so pink. Busy little parents, very tired, don't you think? Oh, here's Papa. Come, kick. There we go. Three baby robins, hungry as can be, waiting for their dinner. Where can Papa be? Mama flew off to find another bug. Three baby robins in their nest so snug. Here comes Papa with a worm so pink. Ah, busy little parents, very tired, don't you think? Oh, back and forth and back and forth and back and forth for two weeks. Oh, they are exhausted. Well, I think it's time now for us to take a little rest too, right? It's time for us to say goodbye. So bye-bye to Mr. Owl and bye-bye to Papa Robin, who's very busy. And that's his song. And bye-bye to the little white mouse. It's time to say goodbye. And bye-bye to the little kitty. And bye-bye to the mama cat. And bye-bye to all my friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs>